Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to Tower of Guns version 1.0. I- I'm just going to be excited about that for a good long while. So, last run did not go as well as I wanted it to. It- well, realistically, we got a bunch of really nice pickups, but... You know, when it came down to it, I was taking a little bit of stupid damage, didn't have any armor pickups, which was seriously kind of messing with my groove. I don't know how I got hit from behind there. I know how- <laughs> pretty obvious how it got hit from the front there, but you know what, we're already at weapon level 2. It's a pretty nice boon straight from the get-go. Let's grab a couple of power-ups. Got a bunch of them sticking around. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get them all, considering a lot of them are kind of inside the motivational booster. Uh, let's see. Okay. Yeah, I can still get it from... Where was it? Excuse me while I dust the mic. Anyway. Onwards. Nope, that is not onwards. Or upwards. I guess it's mostly kind of like an over thereism, but I wonder if there are any secret areas I could get to by launching myself. That's always a question when I come into a room. It's like, is there anything in here that I'm not, you know, normally used to finding here? And the answer is, I can't seem to see anything, so it means either there's no secret area, or it's outside of my reach, or I'm stupid and can't see things. So, oh, there's a lot of, like, tutorial-y stuff going on. I was like, I'm not used to there being dialogue in this room. Was oh, it this room? No, oh, it's this room. So this room is... I'm not going to say terrifying, but I've definitely been through this room before, and it's kind of one of those where it's like, there are... <laughs> there's occasionally super bullet launchers straight up top, and that's a scary prospect. So I've got a couple of upgrades lying around. Nothing major. I really, really would like some passive upgrades straight from the get-go, but there's no guarantee that that is going to happen. So, with any luck, we'll get at least something in this room. If I remember right, there's some nice upgrades contained up above. But there is the question of, am I even going to have enough cash for it? And the answer is, I have no idea. Oh, there. I, I hope there's something up here that I can get, maybe. So, I could use the boosters. I'm going to take out this guy before he decides to, you know, surprise me something awful. And then, let's go up here. Let's find out. There are a bunch of health pickups. There are a couple underneath the stairs. But... I think in the grand scheme of things, picking that up would be a severe waste of time. Alright, so we've got a mystery box, and we've got up oh, some super bullets, and we've got some saw blade launchers. And the question is, how do I fight the saw blade launchers from here? So I got a lot of, uh, I've got a lot of slowing going on. Ooh, that was close. Okay, so I think there are more saw blade launchers than I'm seeing. Oh yeah, there they are. Ow. Okay, I got hit by a spiky ball, which... Oh, that's where they are. I'm going to kind of get out of the firing range just for a second. And let them clear the way. So we're just barely above level 3. I was really hoping we could stay up above that, but... I don't know, I get the feeling I'm going to take a little bit more damage here. There's a... The saw blade launchers are still there. Okay, the, there's the one that could actually hit us. The other one is unable to. We've got one more. And I think I can actually line of sight. Yeah, because the ramp prevents the saw blade launcher from hitting me, and that's perfect. What we have to do is deal with these super cannons and one more saw blade launcher, I believe. Yep, there is. Oh, maybe there are two. Sidestep it a little bit and really hope for the best here. Oh boy. Okay, there's nothing that's going to injure me terribly, and I don't have enough money for the... Oh, jeez. That's where these saw blade launchers are. I'm actually very glad that they're, like, the sl slowing things over there, and it's kind of a shame that the super cannons aren't actually... Uh, able to, I don't know, affect just passive turret enemies, but oh well. I love how there's just like this weird line of saw blades going through. So we've got 40 coins, and I believe that's not going to be near enough to get whatever's in the mystery shop. I think I mentioned that, but still. Uh, it's worth reiterating. Yeah. It requires a lot more money than I have. Kind of bites. So... In the interest of seeing what's ever up there, did I miss something? Oh, there's some, there's one more saw blade launcher set. Let's see. Okay, I've got enough momentum to get up here. Beautiful. So what do we get? Looks to be an item charge, and there's another shop top level. Well, I can't complain about the item charge. I can I, I guess I can complain about it slightly. Ooh, hello, scary. Okay, yep, like I said, I get hit just a little bit. And I really, really was hoping I'd be able to keep weapon level 3. Oh, at this point, the line of sight is not working in my favor. Okay, yeah, I was really hoping I'd be able to 
keep weapon level three. Oh, there's something still shooting at me. These guys. Yeah, I, I'm definitely um, missing where all the turrets are. Oh well. Oh shoot, there's an upgrade up there. Oh well. And there's another item charge boost, which is pretty useless to me. So let's look down. I saw an upgrade token fall here somewhere, but I don't see where it fell to, which is kind of a shame, but you know what, we've pretty much exhausted this room for anything that's useful to us, aka pretty much not much, but we are back up to weapon level 3, and we're not that injured, so I'm not too concerned about things. And this looks like the boss chamber, so... Oh, nope, we're not done exhausting this room yet. We're close. Can I get over here? Yep, okay. Three cents, Peasley, at best. But when it comes down to it, uh, beggars can't be choosers, and beautiful. Okay, who are we fighting in here? Lantern of Fullis, good! I can fight Lantern of Fullis. I was afraid it was going to be something like the Bull Charger or something like that. I don't even know if you fight the Bull Charger or whatever it's called. The. I like to call it the Taurus Demon just because of the, I don't know, connection to the Dark Souls boss, but still. Uh, it's not the it's not the Taurus Demon as much as it would be uh, awesome to kind of have some Dark Souls references in here. Doesn't matter that much. And we flawless victoried Lantern of Fullest. Let's grab our upgrade tokens. I see some kind of item that I don't recognize, which has the possibility for being really cool or really useless. Kind of depends. I find a lot of the activated items in this game I'm grumpy about. So does this one. Oh, the por portable orbital laser. So this one's pretty much just a... I believe this one's just a flat-out uh, shoot to whoop and that's it. Uh, pretty awesome. And there are no secrets in here. I don't know why I even looked. So we found zero secrets. Oh, we did actually find a secret. I don't remember... Oh, right, the item charge up on the top level. Okay, so Gearworks. Again, not my favorite, but we've got triple jump, so it's not like we're hurting too much. I really hate to be running like Mighty Moose on the Gearworks. It's... Uh, well, not instant death, but it definitely does lead to some very unpleasant behavior. Okay, so, there's floating bombs all over the place, and this scares the bejesus out of me. And... Oh. Haha! -ha. I know how we're gonna do this. So it's like, maybe I can escape through the bottom, but that's not the case. What I can do is... Something that I'm not normally able to do in pretty much every other run, and that is I'm actually able to escape out into the starting chamber and get through here. So I think all the bombs have blown themselves up, and there was a green colored one, but it does not look like the green colored one dropped anything, which is kind of a shame. I was really hoping it would give me something nice, but that's not the case. A couple of ET launchers, and what looks to be a bunch of spin bots. Terrifying. So I think I like bunny hopped off of one of these guys. Okay, something exploded, and I'm not going to look the gift horse in the mouth. I'm just going to... Ooh, ow. Okay, there's definitely something exploding, and there's something exploding hard. Can't tell what's exploding, though, which is ultra scary. I assume it was just like a mini bomb. Oh, it was a bomb on the underside. I'd be more than willing to bet that that's the case. Anyway, I'm just going to go all the way down first. And then, yep, okay, there's something exploding up here. No idea what. Uh, looks to be a lot of bullets. Okay, well, um... And that looks to be a flamethrower up there, which is also concerning. But in this little piece of... I'm not going to say heaven. It's not not so much heaven as just, like, sanctuary. Uh, yes, I'm Quasimodo right now. Sanctuary. Oh, Shell would uh, start jabbering at me if she heard me uh, starting to quote Quasimodo. I don't know. I never really got into The Hunchback of Notre Dame as a Disney movie. It always felt not tacky to me. It, it just didn't feel Disney. It didn't have the right, like, adventure quality to it. It still did kind of have the Disney-esque, like, more uh, morality and, you know, twist on a classic tale that ends, you know, way darker than the reality of the situation. But, I don't know, maybe it's just because, for me, I always equate Disney with Disney princesses. I know that's, like, hideously, uh, I guess a false assumption, or it's not even a false assumption, it's just an incorrect bias. But, ooh, that's an armor pickup up there, I didn't even see that come through. Okay, something's shooting at me. Oh, you're shooting at me. So there are two little cannons over here in the corners that 
I did not see it originally. But yeah, I don't know. I'm trying. I'm trying to think of Disney movies that I really liked, and I guess when it comes down to it, Mulan is probably my favorite out of all of them, if only because the character was actually uh, like a decent character, person, strong, and you know, not kind of this wimpy, whiny, singy person. I guess she did do a fair amount of singing, come to think of it, but not nearly as much as some other female characters. Whoa, bullets! So we've got a couple of cannons, we've got a lot of shops here, which kind of kind of makes me sad because we're a bit poor, but at the same time we're also we're also given a lot of options here. So we've got a difficulty reduction, I don't know what's underneath here, but I'm going to go get that armor pickup first and foremost, because, well, it's free. And with any luck, we can gather some currency in the, like, hidden little places on this map. Because there are a lot of them. Oh, those are a lot of spiky balls. I should be, uh, very wary of them. Spiky ball launchers. Mm, come on. I need you. Okay, there we go. And we got the armor. I guess, conversely, uh, back to the whole Disney thing. I think I also really liked the Tangled movie for... visual reasons. And I guess, uh, if we're going off of visual reasons, I also really liked Enchanted, the live-action movie, because the animated segment in the very, very beginning was probably the finest 2D animation I've ever seen Disney do, which makes me very sad because they never went back to it. Ever. I mean, they did a little bit with, uh, what's-her-face, Princess and the Frog, but not nearly enough to be, like, satisfying. So we've got a lot of health pickups, which is kind of a shame, because we're full health. I'm going to see what's over in the secret area, and then we can get choosy. Because the difficulty reduction is definitely going to be good, but if there's, like, one more thing... Oh, jeez. Hello. I really hope there's not a flamethrower right directly behind me. Okay. Not the case. Good. A flamethrower dropped a lot of health pickups. I really should have seen that coming. But I didn't. So I paid for it. A little bit. Less of health pickups, and what's in this corner? The answer is more health pickups. So we are full health, weapon level 4. I'm getting maybe not like flashbacks to the previous runs, but very high weapon level, not a whole lot of like power level. And you know what? If Vegeta is going to make fun of me for it, then you know, so be it. I'm kind of a wimpy little man cake right now, anyway. And I'm not exactly sure if man cake is the right term to be. Describing myself, I guess I'm more of a pizza person, but when it comes down to it, meh. Okay, so that's not the right way. That's not the right way either. I gotta be up above, I think. Actually, I gotta peer down here, I think. There's so many levels to this spot. Yeah, more health, more health. Useless. Let's get up, and let's see what we got. So is that an extra jump? So... I'd love the extra jump, but we're already running triple jump, so I'm going to have to go for the difficulty reduction, which is a lot more nebulous. I still have no idea how much of an actual effect difficulty reduction has on the game, but when it comes down to it, I'd rather have lower difficulty than four jumps instead of just three. Now, if I'm running a... like, if I hadn't got a single jump upgrade at this point, I definitely would actually be going for the double jump. Now in the interest of not even buying it, but just to get credit for the secret, because I think I think you get either a new gun or a new perk for finding a bunch of secrets, and I cannot remember. But uh, in the interest of getting that, might as well uh, say that we found it and go from there. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so uh, if you've seen any of my previous runs, you will know I really enjoy this room for a lot of reasons, mainly secrets. There's so many secrets. There's, ooh, bullets. I don't know how I didn't get hit in that entire sequence there. It's, it's terrifying, and I am ecstatic about a lot of things. All right, so whatever was there, I don't get. So I'm going to do a quick look back here. See what... Hello. Okay, so this is this guy. And hopefully I can take him out before he fires. Nope. Okay. Well, his shot blew up anyway. Because luckily the purple orbs don't move very fast, so you can line of sight them pretty effectively. And that's something I'm eternally grateful for. Anyway, like I said, I really like this room. I'm very unhappy with this room right now. So I found a secret. It's an amazing secret. Problem is, I am too poor to make use of it. And that makes me incredibly depressed. So what do we got here? Okay, here's how we're getting up. And we got triple jump, which makes things very convenient. So it means we can go up here and see whatever is up here. Oh, nuts. I went to the wrong platform. 
and... Okay, there's one. I realistically... I didn't even realize... Okay, there we go. Happiness has been not completely uh, regained. But we're definitely in a lot better of a spot than we were just a little bit ago. I need... What, like 10 more cents to make this okay? Ow. Took a little bit of damage. I was hoping that I'd land on the platform and not take any. But how much money do we get? We get no money, but we get health and we get speed. And then a nice little message to use tilt. Okay. So if I can get 10 more cents, which I would say is highly likely considering the top of this area usually has a crazy amount of enemies. So we've got a lot of bullets and I'm loath to do this. This is super guts and uh, terrifying at the same time. So oh, I think I lost a pickup down there. Yeah, weapon EXP. But in the interest of getting that money that I was asking for, and potentially whatever upgrades these guys drop, oh yes, perfect. So we're we're up to 64 cents. We can buy the armor. Beautiful. So at this point, we're gonna have two armor upgrades, which is going to pretty much make this run. At least, if, if it doesn't, you know, make it completely, it definitely will make me breathe a heck of a lot easier, because I can deal with uh, not doing as much damage as the previous run, because the thing I hate most, not in life, but in games, is being a glass cannon. I hate dying in, like, three shots, or just being peppered down and, you know, not being able to do a gosh darn thing about it. Okay, so a lot of upgrade tokens were dropped. See if I can get them all. The question is, maybe? We do have the speed. Speed's gonna help get all of them. Okay, that's it. And let's not forget about the shot. I also forgot that I am carrying around a portable orbital laser that I should be using. Anyway, let's buy the armor. And I think this is actually one of the poorest runs, or like one, one of the only runs where we've actually had to be choosy about what we buy. Usually I'm just running around loaded with like hundreds of, hundreds of gold, or I guess the proper term is just monies but whatever but this is definitely one of those runs where i don't actually have a whole lot of uh, disposable income now that's confusing because like i said I'm usually uh rich as you know buffett and I, I love being rich as buffett or i would love to be as rich as buffett but uh in, oh crap it's this room this room is scary for so many reasons so we've got the lantern we've got a lot of power-ups and normally I'd be like running down, kind of, not gleefully, but like out of just sheer terror for the like things that are, okay, por portable orbital laser, pretty powerful. Something hit us over there, and this is terrifying, for a lot of reasons. Ooh, got hit by something. Uh, I was being really gutsy there, and I'm not sure if it was worth it. I think it was, but it's hard to say, so I got hit by some kind of bullet. Hopefully it wasn't, like, a terribly powerful one, but whatever. Or, I don't think it was a terribly powerful one. But, okay, there are bullets flying down from above, can't discount that. I was like, oh yeah, you know, I'm safe down here, but no. There's, like, a short period of time when those platforms switch, then I'm not so safe. So let's see what's shooting at us. Okay, so there's a cannon over here. So if I wait till this switches, I should be able to hit him once. Maybe? Probably. I oh. hope. Come on. This switches so slowly. Okay, so it's a homing cannon, and just like a couple of vanilla cannons, which I'm not too concerned about. So I'm actually going to uh, not run for the hills, but you know, mash my face into the wall. And uh, yeah, let's get up here, let's deal with these super cannons. Cause, well, not super cannons, the like, more or less wall o cannons. Yeah. So how are we doing this run? Well, we've got a speed boost, we've got armor boost, we've got three jumps. We could use luck. We got a difficulty reduction, can't discount that. So lots of bullets, lots of homing. So I'm gonna take out the homing first. Those are the scariest. Ooh, more homing. And we're actually going to... Ow. So I'm actually going to get behind this thing. Because, oh shit. Worst nightmare. That's a flamethrower. And we actually didn't take too much damage. Chalk that up to the amount of armor we've been carrying around with us, or picked up, because uh, normally tangoing that long with a flamethrower is not instant death, but so freaking close. Okay, so can I take him out? We lost the health pickups. 
And this pisses me off to some degree, because we are injured now. We are actually at weapon level 5. We're at higher weapon level than we were when we entered this room. Which is crazy, considering I just spent like 5 seconds just sitting underneath a... Oh, jeez. That's what hit me earlier that exploded. Oh, balls. Okay, so there's a super cannon up there. And let's get across before it flips. It looks like there are more saw blades up on the higher levels. Okay, I made it. Good. And let's... I guess let's just get up here. So there's the super bullet cannons. And I'd love to reap the rewards from them. But I don't know how viable... Surprise! Where were you? Did he spawn, like, after I came up the platform, or was I just not paying attention? Anyway, so there's the Super Bullet Launcher, and the kind of trade-off here is, like, do I risk it and try and get the pickups? And the answer is, it's tempting. Ooh, luck. Don't have enough money for it, though. I'm gonna hide down here. Okay. So, yep. And it blew itself up. Oh, no it didn't. It's just on the flippy platform, and I don't know. Got it? Got it. Okay, gimme, 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 I'm so greedy, I'm so greedy. Weapon level 5, and got everything. Okay, so there's terror down below me. I'm still a little bit too poor to get the luck upgrade, which makes me very sad, because if I could get this luck upgrade, we're going to be... Maybe not set, but we're definitely going to be in a very, very nice place in life. We're not going to be as rich as, rich as Buffett, but you know what? I will I would be in a position where complaining would be out of the question. But it does not look like today is going to be the day that we are as rich as Buffett. Damn. Because, yeah, if I could get that luck upgrade, I'd be so happy. But I don't know if any secret areas here. Yeah, because... I already got this secret area-ish. Or, no I didn't, there's just no conceivable way for me to get there. And sometimes there's something down the there for me to get, but does not look like today is that day either. So, let's just go through. And, oh, this is going to be so much fun. So, this is like Dr. Turret in his most evil form. And, I mean, realistically, I know how to deal with them. It ain't terrible. And uh, this is one of those situations where having as much armor as humanly possible is like the nicest thing ever. So we've got ooh, lots of bullets. Now, I think... I have no idea where his uh, weak point is going to be. And that's always a concern, so let's not take any falling damage. The triple jump is definitely one of those things that you need to have for Dr. Turret in this mode. Because otherwise you're going to be in serious danger all the time. Weak point, no weak point, not here at least. Took a little bit of stupid damage, but we're coming out of this not A-OK, -okay, but we're definitely coming out of this without as much damage as I was expecting we would. Okay, yeah, actually we were taking a fair amount of damage. I'm not in panic mode, but I'm definitely a little panicked here. Because if I make a wrong turn, oh no. You know what? Shoot to whoop. There we go. So I'm actually very glad I had the portable orbital laser there, because I don't think we would have actually made it out of this boss chamber alive. And that's a terrifying prospect. So, our armor is serving us in one way extremely well. We have a lot of weapon level. Unfortunately, we're doing terribly in the health department. And you know what, when it comes down to it, health is... I'm not going to say more important. I wonder if that's a secret area in the boss chamber, or it's just like a nice firing platform to shoot down from. Or maybe that's where the enemies shoot from. Come think of it. Yeah, I bet there's some enemies placed up there, and I just was not paying attention. Anyway, I assume the exit is on the same level as the entrance? Yep, okay. So, I'm gonna go with the portable orbital laser, it charges a hell of a lot faster, and I don't like the grenades anyway. So we're actually doing okay on health. I'm still going to avoid killing the Hugbots, because I still have no idea how to get to Hugbot Alley, and it's kind of one of those where it's like, I would very much like to get to Hugbot Alley. If I could get to it on this run, we'd be not set, but we'd definitely be in a really good spot because I bet we'd get, maybe not a might pickup, but we'd definitely be doing pretty well for ourselves. So we've got a lot of coinage, not so great. 
and is this room again. But this room is not in its most terrifying configuration, so I'm not... I'm not too concerned. Uh, if you remember, it was probably a couple runs ago, but I was in this run room and it was like flamethrowers and homing crap all over the place. So I'm taking a little bit of damage in favor of picking everything up. And it's like, is that a good trade-off? I don't know. I would say probably, but it's hard, it's hard to truly say whether or not it's like a little bit of damage in favor of getting all this stuff. And I feel like I maybe should do a Junkman run at some point, but it still feels like that is a peaslier perk compared to a lot of the other perks I can pick up. So I'm usually going to say Junkman isn't worth it in favor of like Triple Jump, Mighty Moose, Luck Plus. Oh geez, Luck Plus is probably the best in my opinion. I mean, there could be better. Maybe Luck Plus isn't nearly as useful useful as I attribute it. But I'd be willing to bet it is just that good. Got stuck on something. Weird. Alright, so there doesn't look to be anything secret in here that I can reach, at least. So let's just get through and hope for the best. What's this room? I like this room. It's terrifying. On so many levels. Because, you know, there are cannons. There are usually spiky balls all over the place. There's... It's more or less just... Everything and anything shooting at you. It's the corridor of death without, you know, the massive numbers of, like, bullets flying down them or bombs or whatnot. But, you know what? It's okay. We're actually doing really well and not nearly as many terrifying things have spawned. We're actually getting a fair amount of health back, too, which is amazing. And we have enough money to probably buy whatever up there, which is good because I'd like to buy extra pickups. Ooh, ow, got hit. But is that? Ooh, yes. Jump height. So jump height is really useful, especially for this room, because it means that I have a substantial chance of getting up here. Good. I was, uh, I was like, if I can't get back up here, I'm going to be sad, because I always have that extreme problem in this room specifically, where I never have quite enough. Uh, I I keep wanting to say hoops in, like, reference to jumping, and I'm not even that big of a basketball dude, but yeah, I don't have enough hoops to make it up to the little ledges, and I always end up missing, like, a substantial amount of power-ups. So there's a health pickup, and two coins. That's probably the peasiest, peasiest secret I have ever found, and that makes me kind of sad, but, oh well, we bought a health pickup, which is good. Uh, we've got a lot of armor, we got a lot of health, what do we need at this point? We need luck, and oh, is this part of the room? So I think when I hit the second half of this room, it's going to spawn a couple more things on my head yet. We got a bunch of little guys spawning after me, which is both fine and not so fine. I'd really love some like splash damage because that would make this. Oh hey, uh, oh wait, that might be a boss chamber though, so I don't want to. I don't want to exactly do exp rate plus plus. Not the most useful pickup in the world, but definitely helpful. I was considering using the shoot de woop or the portable orbital laser, the pole. I don't know. I'm gonna just. I'm. I was considering shooting these guys, but I think I'm gonna save that for the boss, just for the extra like crazy damage boost. Considering, I mean, that's what saved our bacon in the last room, and it would be kind of remiss to just waste it up on a lot, a lot of like little dudes that I don't feel like fighting properly. So. Let's get through here, start shooting these guys, and I actually really like this room. Uh, assuming that, you know, nothing particularly terrible spawns, it's actually really easy to get past. It's just one of those, it's like, usually you think, oh, you know, you stay in the entrance of the room, it's super defensible and stuff, right? Nope. Most of the time I find in Tower of Guns the rooms are oriented in such a way to murder your face only if you're standard, standing in the entrance, and then once you get past, like, the most basic spot, as you come in, then you're safe to do pretty much whatever you want in a run. So, I don't know if, as kind of like a side topic, I'm noticing I kind of transition topics really quickly, but I don't know if Joe switched around the settings uh, as far as like blue EXP goes, or maybe it's just the massive amount of armor I've been having and or like my dodging ability in the last run, but weapon EXP seems to stay at a much higher level than it used to, which is kind of nice. So who are we fighting? We are fighting the Doom Ball. And... Do we have enough 
speed to fight the Doom Ball? I don't know. Well, I'm gonna shoot it anyway. And actually, we're doing pretty fantastic. So, I'm getting hit a little bit, losing a little bit of blue EXP, which I'm not keen on. But it's kind of okay. Now, I do need to remember that the Doom Ball starts moving faster. So, it's one of those that you can't. You gotta, like, keep leading him better and better. Okay, there we go. And that actually was a lot more damage than I was expecting it would take, but not enough that I'm feeling like too much of the hurt. So it's turbo boost but, uh, item pickup. Not keen on it. I definitely think that there are better. And so I'm actually just going to go back with the portable orbital laser. So how are we doing? We are really low on health. I figured all my armor pickups would definitely make things a little bit, uh, well, mitigate a little bit better, but I guess that's not the case. So... How am I doing? 32 minutes in, doing okay as far as secrets go, and we're going into Hugbot Alley. Okay, so I have no idea how you get Hugbot Alley. Originally I thought it was like time-based, you know, get there before 25 minutes, but we're like 32 minutes in, and we're in Hugbot Alley. I have no idea. None. And you know what? That's fine. I feel like a monster every time I come in here. Just a terrible person. But this is just the way things go. Mainly because I need the health. If we don't get, you know, our health back, we are in so deep of trouble. I'm also really hoping we can get some kind of passive upgrade from one of these guys. Because if we could get, say, like, Might or Crits, Crits would be really nice. Because if we could get, you know, Might and Crits, Might or Crits, really just extra damage, we're in kind of this weird golden universe. And at, at the very least, we're going to leave Hugbot Alley with absolutely full health, which is going to be perfect, because I'm going to need it. And... yeah! So let's murder the, <laughs> murder the crap out of all the Hugbots. And again, no idea how you get all the Hugbots. Maybe it's like based on how many secrets you found? That would kind of make sense. Maybe. But it's very hard to say. Anyway, so... <laughs> I don't know. It's like the first time I ever came... Ooh, no. Jeez, I was like, hey, it's a difficulty. No, it's a difficulty plus plus. I guess uh, my just desserts for murdering all the helpless HUDBOTs. Let's get through here. And this door turns red. And maybe it turns red if you, like, murdered all the HUDBOTs and it's, like, unhappy with you. Hard to say. And I know there's definitely some kind of secrets in here. The question is ever getting to them. So I've got triple jump with jump height. But... See how you're even supposed to get up. Oh, this is gonna hurt a little bit. Okay, it didn't hurt me in the slightest. Because there's definitely gotta be a secret up there, but I still don't think I have enough jumps to get up there. And that's sad ish. Oh well, let's just go, let's not waste any more time. Because one thing I did forget to mention earlier is this run is on endless mode. It says so up at the top. What does that mean? That means I'm aiming to get the Blatherskite crossbow. If I can get more than the Bla Blatherskite crossbow, that'd be really nice. But, you know, who knows? That's kind of how these runs go. And I might actually get the thing for not taking any damage on the run. Unless I took some fall damage there that I didn't expect. I don't know. Hard to say. But, you know what? When it comes down to it, whatever. So, how this is going to work, uh, since it's on endless mode, is if... If I do manage to beat the gumball machine, I'm going to say, you know, yay, congratulations to me, I beat, you know, 1.0. And then what I'm going to do is go on to part 2. And part 2 will be a separate episode, and, as, I mean, assuming I actually get farther, if I, like, just die immediately, it's going to be a shame. It's going to avoid picking up the motivator, but that seems really stupid to me. So, I think he changed the motivator to fire faster, which is... Ooh. I still don't think it's that worth it as far as a weapon goes, but considering this thing's already weapon level max, I'm just going to use the motivator until I can get this thing up. Because uh, it levels faster than pretty much every other weapon I've ever seen. We've also got weapon EXP going for us, so... Yeah, we're already at, what, weapon level 4 on this thing? Jeez. Oh, that's interesting. So, the motivator, when level 5 actually lays down the, like, boost blocks, 
which is interesting. Not what I would call the best weapon, but it's definitely unique. And now we have two weapon level 5 weapons, so we've got... And we get the 609mm hand cannon. Awesome, that means I've got a new gun to test out. Or I guess not test out, but mess around with on the next run, which is amazing. So we're going into logistics, we have two guns that are weapon level 5, so if we lose enough weapon level on one, we can switch to the other. Now, the motivator isn't as good of a gun, I think. Maybe maybe it's one of those guns that is actually, if you're running it at lowest level, it will be more powerful than max level, but won't have its utility ability, which kind of makes sense. Okay, so we've got a lot of bullets going after us. Terrifying, but easy to deal with. Just get behind them. And then the lasers ain't so scary. Let's get the motivator all the way up to max, just because we can, and take out the lasers also just because we can, and just lay down some motivational blocks all over the place, because it's kind of funny. Okay, motivator's kind of useless. So I don't even think the lasers give me anything, so I guess the question is why am I even bothering with this? Oh well, tally ho. So what do we got? We got a lot of stuff down below, oh it's a bunch of slow blocks. That's useful. So, I assume there's stuff behind me shooting at me, I'm not entirely sure. But there's explosions and guns, oh yep, yeah, there are a bunch of mini cannons up above that are shooting at me, which is scary. So we've got this guy, and okay, just two of the little guys, good. We might actually be in a kind of, come on, die. Okay, we might actually be in a pretty good safe spot. Uh, there's a triple spin bot, but that's not too much of a concern. We also did take a fair amount of damage from this room. Yeah, ow. Okay, new perk, Major Moose. Amazing. That's exactly what I need and want and love. And then let's figure out how to deal with this room. Because we've got this guy. Okay, good. Finally, he's dead. And I really don't want to get stuck in any of those blue boxes. Because getting stuck there is going to be pretty much the death of us. So... Tally-ho. Okay. Not all the way up, because we want to deal with this little, I don't know, not, I'm not going to say section of hell, but we want to take out all of these cannons before we go any further, just because if I don't, I'm going to have a lot harder of time, ow, okay, so getting hit by the green cannon does the most amount of damage, and, you know, deals the most amount of damage to our weapon level, okay, good to know in the future, anything over there, no, uh, crap. Well, let's see what we got over here. We've definitely got something. And good, Arrested Bear Fall. So it is, oh, it's this thing. So we got something shooting at us. And I can't tell what, maybe it's one of the, oh, it's you, freaking. I hate these things, they juke all over the place and then they just disappear on you. But you know what this is? This is a healing item of sorts. like my saw blade. There we go. Okay, so what is this? This is the uh, portable vas uh, vas constriction jelly. Weird name. Super useful. So we've got a lot of jump blocks that I need to get through to get over here. We've got some slowy th stuff that I can get out of. Good. Done. I don't think there's anything else in this room either. So I'm just going to go through the teleporter. There we go. So the portable vast constriction jelly is a, I guess, just a block that you can lay down that heals you. And I'm going to save it until the end of this room because it might actually give me enough healing to get through, like, to mitigate whatever damage I take in here. I'm not sure. So it's a weapon mod, and I took a lot of damage, meaning I got... Okay, so... I uh, cannot go to either side of that super cannon, because it's just going to end up with my death. And we're losing weapon level, we got a lot of shots being fired at us, and it's like, ah, not not a good position, we're very injured, but I don't feel comfortable just laying down the portable vast constriction jelly, because as much as I would like to, it's definitely one of those where you have to stay still inside it to get the full effectiveness out of it. And that's kind of a crappy situation to be in, especially as far as this goes. So we're taking a little bit of stupid damage. Actually, a lot of stupid damage. Uh, mainly because these guys are kind of shooting the ground near me. And then it's so good. So what does that mean? That means bunny hop crazy. Oh, come on. 
Well, death's number two. We were doing really well there. What was my final dip? Wow. That explains it. Okay, so why did I just suddenly go silent there? Final difficulty, 275. What does that mean? I think that means Hugbot kills directly correlates with the end difficulty that you have. Because there's no way. There's no way that that would have gone up naturally that way. Especially with the difficulty increase as it was. I mean, maybe? Maybe he changed the meter on final difficulty so the numbers are higher. But that seems really unlikely. Because usually when I end a run, you know, the final difficulty is maybe 120. But that would explain why I was taking so much freaking damage on, you know, even the basest of enemies. Which sucks. Oh well, you know, uh, back to not killing Hugbots, I guess. And I will see you guys on the next run of Tower of Guns. And, um... Hopefully we won't ever get a difficulty this high ever again, because that was incredibly painful by the end of it. Oh, thanks for watching.